It's all about to start right now and it can't be stopped and stimulus is actually the best answer. Now, when you see people buying food and necessities when they go grocery shopping, do you know their story? I mean, perspective is, it's really a good thing to have because with what I've been reading lately, it seems as if more of us are sailing in the same boat. More people use Snap, EBT cards these days and food banks. They're having trouble keeping up with demand. And this is a little bit scary. Even high income, upper middle class, six figure earning families are looking to cut corners and save money to be able to make it through this recession. But are we supposed to believe that everything's going according to plan? That we're all flush with cash, even though we've only received a handful of stimulus checks? Are things really actually starting to get better? Comment a quick yes or no down below. Also, the United States, well, at least the government seems to be pushing hard towards a war with China when it comes to Taiwan. Would you support this if this happens? For your daily dose of the truth when it comes to the US economy, the stock market, fourth stimulus package updates, passive income, social security, and everything that's going on in Washington, DC that affects your wallets, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell icon. I appreciate you guys watching as always. And make sure you and your family are protected. Do not be caught off guard this very cold winter. Get your free home warranty quote. The link is in the description down below. You guys will thank me later. Actually, many of you already have. All right, so a very good indicator of a possible problem with the economy is when companies start mass layoffs. And this is how they prepare for losses by losing employees. And it's not great for us, but this is how it's been when a recession comes. And this is one of many reasons why a recession is a little bit scary and concerning. Now, I know that the White House and their economists have all been saying that our economy is strong and all that, right? But if you can find me a CEO who isn't ramping up and preparing moves for an economic downturn, then maybe I'll believe these experts, but I'm really not seeing it. These CEOs, they are preparing to lay people off in large numbers. And this is because I found a recent survey that said that 98% of CEOs in our country are preparing for a recession. 98% guys. Now, if you were in the NBA and you shot 98% every game, you would be almost perfect. That'd be pretty cool, right? Anyway, when you have billionaires that are saying that they're planning layoffs, then yes, we're in trouble. Will it mean recession stimulus checks? I mean, that one is a little bit tricky to be honest because on the one hand, we may already be experiencing a recession right now and we're not gonna be told of it. And on the other hand, announcing it would officially get our hopes up on the receiving of the fourth federal stimulus check, something that the government seems to be discussing but haven't actually put into action. But hey, at least the indexes are doing well in the stock market these days, right? S P 500, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, right? Let me talk to you guys about that. Even though we're seeing rebounds, it is important to see how things have been doing in the long run. Just because you see a few days of green doesn't mean that things are really doing that much better. I mean, look at this. You got the Dow Jones Industrial Average sitting right around 30,000, right? But let's compare it to a year ago, shall we? Hmm. That's 35,000, almost to the date. That's the perspective that I'm talking about here, guys. How about the S&P 500? Down by almost 1,000. What about NASDAQ? Down by almost 5,000. And people wanna comment and say that things are finally starting to turn around? I don't know. It's gonna take a little bit longer of a recovery before things start turning around. But this is what I've been talking about to you guys for a long time, preparing for times like now. And things, unfortunately, will likely get a little bit worse before they get better. At the same time, there will be a tremendous number of opportunities available for families who are prepared to turn their family tree around, to no longer be poor or low income, to actually build wealth. We're going to talk about that more in future videos. We're going to talk about more ways to create passive income and build multiple streams of income so that you change the way that your family and your kids and your kids' kids can live. But we'll talk about that in future videos. Now, it is definitely going to be a long recovery before four things actually start turning around. Now, if you want the reality, I can give you that. Here's another truth. Were you guys aware that one in four Americans are planning to pass on Thanksgiving this year? I mean, how dire must things be that Americans, people that live in a first world country, now have to miss out on Thanksgiving of all holidays? I mean, it's not just any old holiday. I know that some households get very festive when Thanksgiving comes around, especially because, you know, it's about the food, it's about getting together, it's about the smell of certain scented candles that are only available parts of the 
year. I mean, what happened to all that? Also, turkey. Personally, I don't really care for turkey. It's a little bit dry if you ask me. I prefer ham and other meats, but that's beside the point. But turkey, I mean, it's kind of like the main dish for Thanksgiving. It's now priced at around $2 a pound, depending upon if it's an eight or a 16 pound turkey. Now, it doesn't help that 66% of American workers are now worse off in terms of finances compared to last year, and we have inflation and a recession to blame for it. But here's the most sobering number that I've read this entire year. This poll found that nearly one in three workers, they run out of money before payday. Is that shocking? I mean, how many of you run out of money before you get paid again? I know we got a lot of Social Security recipients in our viewership, and I know a lot of people who say that they've gotten their Social Security check on the first, second, or third of the month, maybe receive their SSI check, SSDI check, and before the week is up, the check is already gone. I don't even understand how some people make it to the end of the month. I mean, it's just, it's like they have more month than they have check left. And, you know, that's the sad state of the reality for a lot of folks. But what if I told you that this number of people who are running out of paycheck before the next paycheck, that it includes people who are making over $100,000 a year? That's right, six figure earners. I mean, would this shock you? But what isn't surprising is that these people are dipping into their savings or worse, they're going into credit card debt because their paycheck can't support their lifestyle. These are people making a hundred grand a year and they're living like they're poor, like they're broke. And this is a growing trend that we're seeing. Can you imagine making a hundred grand a year? That's like $8,333 a month and you have no money at all. Like you have so much money coming in and yet you have nothing left. And this is what a lot of families are facing. These are the same people who will or have already started to worry about layoffs, about housing, about foreclosure, potential rising rent rates, mortgage rates are higher. And many of these people may be concerned about moving into rental properties. They're concerned about a stagnant cash flow, about bankruptcy. These are all all of the things that they worry about day in and day out. And the problem is that there's no relief in sight. Now, question is, would a stimulus check help if it was sent out? Honestly, it's probably just a bandage on a gunshot wound, but it probably would help a little bit, but it probably won't solve everything. But a stimulus check would at least get us a little bit toward the green long enough until we can find other ways on how to make money. Sadly though, we're seeing something different with mainstream media. Well, I'm basing it off of what I'm seeing, which is a little bit more of a direct approach toward a war with China. Now, you guys are familiar with the USS Ronald Reagan, right? The US aircraft carrier is now curiously close to Taiwan. Hmm, wonder why. This isn't something that news outlets have been telling you guys, but I found this on Nikkei Asia. And as it turns out, the United States is in talks with Taiwan to co-produce American weapons. Boom, mind blown, right? So here's what Anthony Blinken, you know, the US Secretary of State, here's what he had to say about Taiwan. There's been a change in the approach from Beijing towards Taiwan in recent years. A fundamental decision has been made that the status quo was no longer acceptable and that Beijing was determined to pursue reunification with Taiwan on a much faster timeline. Why do they want to go to war with Xi Jinping this much? Or are they just pushing him to attack Taiwan at this point? Also, just to add just a little bit of fuel to the fire, the Senate plans to add $10 billion in Taiwan military aid. This was initially at four and a half billion dollars, but I guess things change. That is a huge increase. And yet again, more billions of dollars of taxpayer money going overseas. Now this bill also prioritizes the transfer of excess US defense articles to the distributed islands as well. Now I'm also a little bit surprised with the wording that I'm seeing. A senior congressional aide said this recently, quote, whether you wanna call it a wartime contracting or emergency contracting, we can't play around anymore. It's hard to think of something as high on everyone's list as bond buying a ton of munitions for the next few years or operational plans against China. End quote. This means that the Pentagon may have a timetable for war with China already. <sighs> I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm really tired of all this narrative of war. I mean, what's so bad about having peace? Doesn't that give citizens the best opportunities and setting to thrive in? We are in a very specific point in time where talking about war is normal, but talking about aid to help Americans is a forgotten topic where politicians seem to see us as voters and nothing more. That's why I would advise that you guys protect yourselves, protect your family. The worst is unfortunately 
definitely yet to come. And that's not me being a pessimist. It's me telling you guys the truth. But what are your thoughts on all of today's updates? I'm looking forward to the conversations and the insights that will be shared down below in the comments. So while you guys are down there, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Also, if you're brand new to the channel and you want to keep updated with everything that matters to you regarding our economy and your bank account, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure the notification bell is checked or turned on because if you want the truth, y'all know where to find it. Appreciate you guys watching. You guys are awesome. This is Ron. I wish you all good health and better days to come. See you on the next one.